Hello, it's Street Talk with Loretta Rose, and today we are on location in Phoenix City, Alabama. We are on the property of Troy University, Riverfront Campus, where they host a wonderful community festival. What's so special about this year? It is a partnership with other community organizations. Stick around, we're gonna tell you all about it. This is Street Talk, you're watching here on cable TV, and this network is Bean TV. time here in Phoenix City and we're just browsing through and we have caught up with a community partner with this wonderful occasion Dr. Jake Golden thank you so much for your time sir tell us what school you're with I'm at Phoenix City Elementary School Wow! and tell us about your partnership with Troy University well um, the partnership with Troy um, University has just grown tremendously over the past three years um, between Troy and United Way um, we come together we're looking to to inspire children to go on to college and to move on in life. Also, to educate our parents. Um, a lot of this is about a lot about parent outreach, getting them involved in their kids' lives and getting them involved in kids' education. So that Troy, so them getting in right now at the foundation, at the ground in elementary school, I think has been a great start. So I'm just honored that um, Troy is able to do this with us every year. Absolutely. I see a lot of your students are here. They're coming, loving on you, and happy to see you. Yes, it's always great to come out and just hang out with them. Um, this is more formal than we normally do. Normally we'll just sit around and eat chips and popsicles, I but know. we get an opportunity out to have some great fun, great games. A lot of children are coming in and out. It's fantastic. I love it that parents are here. Oh yeah, and that's what's most important. I think getting them back involved and letting them feel like they're a part of something. I think that it's important that they see something positive and they have a positive experience and we can carry this over. Then they see me out there and they say, oh yeah, you remember you met me at the truck or treat? You know, so we can just, um, get a better relationship awesome. and bond that way. What would you like to say to other students that may be watching online that were not here? Because one thing I know about you, not only you are a principal and Dr. Golden, but you are a motivational speaker to all young people. Yeah. Um, I just want to say to the young people and to everybody out there, it takes a village to raise a child. It's events like this where Troy University and the school, we're coming together as a community to make us a better place. So I want to not, not only you can partner with us or partner with Troy or partner with somebody and let everybody get involved in doing great things for these young two, these young people and making great in their lives. Awesome, awesome. That's Dr. Jakes, also known as Principal Jakes. We thank him so much for sharing here. Thank We're you. at Troy University Riverfront Campus. I have just caught up with one of Troy University graduates. I would say he's a Troy or Trojan alumni. Tell us your name, sir. I am Richard Cross. Richard Cross, did I hear you are a t an attorney as well? I am, I'm the managing member of Cross Law Firm here in Phoenix City. I have been practicing here in the area for 13 years. And before that, I practiced over in Columbus. Awesome, see this is what's happening. When you watch Street Talk, you meet your neighbors, your community leaders, and those that are out here supporting the community. Tell us why it's so important for you to be here today. Well, it's wonderful for us to be involved with our communities, to see the needs of our community, to spend time with the people People that we have around that's how you grow that connection with everyone yeah. you brought your family we did we brought our 18 month old son Harrison my beautiful bride Rachel is here with us and we're doing some trick-or-treating and enjoying the time I love it I love it well we want to thank you for sharing and I love it how it is a great community 
event. We have people coming from Columbus, Phoenix City, all around, and this is lovely. How do you feel about this lovely affair where it's like families are out here and just celebrating and having a great time? Well, it's wonderful, especially with us having such great weather today for it, but when I was speaking with some of the people who were putting it on earlier, they said it's been a very steady, large crowd. They've run out of drinks. They've run out of different supplies. So it's wonderful to know that we have so many people coming out caring, but also also that the people are coming out to enjoy the time together. Something we haven't had a whole lot of for the last few years. I'm loving it, I'm loving it. Attorney Eric Cross, some call you attorney Richard Cross as well. I call him neighbor. <laughs> You've met him here on Street Talk. This is what's happening in Phoenix City. I have just caught up with one of Troy University Riverfront Campus professors, and it is Professor Womack. Isn't she beautiful? I love it. Well, tell us what you teach here at Troy. Sure. I teach social work, so I teach for the undergraduate program for Troy, and then I teach um, the graduate program for master's level social workers here at the Phoenix City campus. Oh, awesome, awesome. I love that, and thank you for your service. Because you. we need that, more social workers in our community. Tell me what's going on behind us. So these are my MSW students with the graduate program here at Phoenix City, and they're volunteering their Monday night on Halloween to come help serve the community in the fall festival. Oh, cool, cool. So is it, can we talk to one of your students? Absolutely, awesome. yes. I love it. So what would you say about what's happening? What are your reactions to what's happening today? Because this is beautiful. It is. I think this is one of our, we've done Halloween activities with the Housing Authority and partnered with them before um, to serve the kids. But I love that this actually brings community, it brings other agencies within the community, brings awareness and letting people what services are there, but it also makes it tangible for us to build relationships with each other because relationships are the key to our life and happiness. So. Absolutely. Well said, Professor Womack. We're having a great time. We're going to take you on through so you can see what else is happening here. We're in Phoenix City and it is Street Talk. We have just caught up with another Troy University Riverfront Campus student. Tell us your name. My name is Tarika Richard. Awesome. And I heard you in the social worker program. Yes, ma'am. Master's program. Yes. Right girl that's nice awesome so what do you think about this wonderful event what is what are your reactions to it? um it's really it turned out really nice it's a lot more people than i thought it was going to be um i wasn't expecting to turn out like this um this is the first time i've attended one of these events so it's really nice it's a wonderful family affair as well, yeah it's a it's a lot of families and stuff that i really i wasn't expecting this many people at all wow. Uh, well, honey, you're in Phoenix City, and this was this is how they do it. And, of course, we love Tr Troy University. And Dr. Rossamim, the vice chancellor here at this campus, she's phenomenal. She's all about community, and that's what we see today, a community that has come together. Yes, ma'am. Awesome. So, we are expectant. Yeah. yeah. Right. In January. In January. Congratulations. Thank you. Do we know what we have? A boy. You are a glowing girl. You are absolutely beautiful. Well, congratulations to you with baby and your master's program. Thank you. You're welcome. I love it. Thank you, Troy University and all the community partners that have invited us to be a part. We want to thank Macon Russell Action Agency for partnering with this wonderful event and Tears Agency out of Phoenix City, Alabama. This is what's happening, and also free food. I was told Troy University and all of the community partners have come together to provide free food. This is wonderful. DJ, all kinds of entertainment. And I heard they're doing a Halloween costume giveaway or something that is taking place, but we're gonna walk through and catch up with them about that as well. The children are loving this. This is a wonderful family affair, safe, right here in Venus City. You seeing it here on Street Talk. Here are two of our little winners. Look at Elmo. Look at this Cinderella. She's a princess. Say hi. Yes, they won along with some others. But you know how these little two-year-olds or these children are. They got to get into the fun. We're having a great time. We have caught up with another community partner Tears Incorporated. Thank you so much for your time. Tell us your name. 
Uh, my name is Catherine McDonald. I'm clinical director at Tears Incorporated here in Phoenix City. Awesome! I remember you out in the community. Yes. This is phenomenal. What do you think? I think this is a great turnout. It actually turned out a lot better than I thought it was. Um, we're just here to engage with the community, provide a safe place for the kids to come out and enjoy some candy, music, and some food. So. Uh, and I did hear you put your stamp of approval on the food. Yes, we provided the chili. We provided the chili. Chili is good, so you know should have been here to get some. But yes, yeah. I love it. I love it. Well, we want to thank you on behalf of the community for all of those that have been present and desire to be here. Thank you for all that you all do in the community. You are welcome. You're welcome. Glad to do it. Absolutely. This is what's happening in Phoenix City. It's Street Talk. We're having a fabulous time here at this Harvest Festival. We have just caught up with Miss Macon Russell. I like to call her in Miss Glow in the Dark because when the lights are out, she is shining bright like a diamond. Hey, girl, how are you doing? I'm doing great. What about you? Awesome. Miss Angel Walker, tell us about Macon Russell Community. <sighs> Macon Russell Community Action Agency. We are the, the local community action agency. We have um, um, locations in Macon County and in Russell County and we take care of all of your basic needs services and we help individuals with whatever they need in order to become self-sufficient and to lead them to economic stability. One cool thing that I am so happy that we're able to do is to do community level partnerships like this one, which we are doing right now at Troy University. I have been blessed to partner with the Vice Chancellor here, Dr. Rosser Mims, and we are able to have our first annual partnership fall festival. It has been phenomenal. Yes, I yes. love it, I love it. And community action is what you love to do. Yes. You always do a great partnership when you all come together, and I just love coming here. Thank you so much. Yes, I love to partner in the community because we have to understand that we cannot do this work alone. In order for us to help our people and to lead our people out of poverty and to lift them up, we have to have everyone at the table. We have to provide a holistic type approach to leading our individuals towards self-sufficiency, just like how we're doing here with this fall festival and this partnership. We wanted to make sure that our kids from our neighboring uh, housing authority um, residents over here and from the surrounding areas had a safe place to come and and be in the fellowship and to eat and listen to this wonderful DJ and to win prizes and get free books and just to have a good time. I love it and thank you all so much for inviting the community and inviting us in Street Talk. You all always do it with a bang with the food too I must say. Thank she loves to feed you. Yes, I do. <laughs> awesome. This oh, is... I'm going to do my other plug. Remember, Mike and Ed's Barbecue, <laughs> they fed us again. <laughs> they provided all the good hot dogs. And remember, that's Macon Ed's on 13th Street. <laughs> all right, all right. You've heard it from Miss Macon Russell. And this is a fall festival on the premises of Troy University Riverfront Campus. We have enjoyed this fall festival in Phoenix City, and you know when you watch Street Talk, if some good music is in the community, I like to close out where the music is. Tell us your name, DJ. Hey, what's going on? My name is DJ Booby. Awesome. And where are you out of? Columbus, Georgia. Okay. I heard you were mobile, and I heard you'll pull up. Yes, we mobile, and we will pull up, and we don't mind getting it boogie with y'all. Hey, boogie, boogie, boogie. I love it. So why was it so important for you to partner with this great event? Well, main thing is I would love to give back with the kids. I love to actually be able to be in their lives because it's our village and we need to actually have more men out here that's going to take into the future life to actually bring, be able to give back to these kids because a lot of our kids are dying at young ages. So we need to be able to get together like we did here today and just get them all together and show them that we care in our community. Now see, you know that. You got me moving now. I'm supposed to be working. I'm supposed to be working. That's what I do. <laughs> now tell us how we can follow you. You always can follow me at DJ Booby, uh, Facebook, Instagram, uh, Twitter. Also I have uh, um, YouTube. It's up under DJ Booby Entertainment. DJ Booby. Yes, ma'am. He gonna make you boogie. Hey. Well, thank you so much for being on Street Talk. Thank y'all for interviewing me. Thank you, Troy University. Thank you, Dr. Rosser Mim. Thank you, Angel Walker, with Community 
Russell Community Agency is the Action Agency and also Tears Incorporated. Thank you all so much for inviting us out. You've been watching Street Talk with Loretta Rose here on Beam TV. Until next time, you just have a good time in Boogie. Don't stop.